I hope this doesn't take away from my uh, inspiration for the car ride video. Uh, I was actually pretty inspired yesterday because uh, I usually don't do videos driving home. I'm really tired after doing my job. Um, the reason why I don't make so many car videos is because I don't go nowhere. I don't want to drive. I hate driving and uh, there's other people in the car with me so like I don't want, really want to make a video uh, and maybe they don't want to be on camera and I do <laughs> I don't I'm not used to talking with other people I just like <clears throat> in the in the same room I mean I can do it for sure but it's just kind of embarrassing I'm just like talking to a camera and then like they're right there with me like not being involved or anything like that like if it, you know if they were involved or something that's different for, it's just kind of weird i'm just making a video and they're not involved but they're just you know what i mean just kind of weird so <clears throat> um so like what why we are where we're at right now uh, and, and we should be where we're at right now suffering um we have to suffer. People have to suffer before they wake up and realize this is not the correct path. What the baby boomers did and what they continue to do, crazy. We need to get these people out of all. All these boomers need to go. Like, I'm voting for Trump, yes. If he ran in four years, let's say hypothetically he loses, he, said, he already said he's not gonna run. But, like, I wouldn't vote for him. Like, I already don't like his age as it is. I, I, I'm I, voting for him. I've, I'm supporting him. Uh, I like a lot of the things he says. I think he's very pragmatic. I think he wants government reform. Um, I think that, like, <clears throat> we, we, we have a better chance at peace, world peace. Uh, we have a better chance of uh, denuclearizing the world when it comes to uh, nuclear weapons uh, with him in charge I think that we can be very prosperous like I think that America can stop feeling like we're having to give everything away for, to everybody else and like at our own suffering <clears throat> um, like next next year I don't have health insurance and then <laughs> so like there's sacrifices that have to be made I mean I'm taking a huge risk but you know sometimes you have to do that uh, because of incompetent leadership, you know, what I really want to see happen is I want to see the Democrats completely embarrassed. I want to see like a, a 2016, but like on steroids, it, it would be amazing if that happened because like these people need to like realize that like these people think that their shit don't stink, man. And, and, um, like they're perfect people. Like right now they're like, saying they're probably saying that trump has mental decline because he made a mistake getting into the garbage truck like he reached for the handle and kind of stumbled a little bit and like hey, people make mistakes man i mean you don't see that happen that often so it's just like they, they they say he's got mental decline but then they completely ignored joe biden's uh mental decline so you guys can miss me on that shit okay like if Trump had mental decline like Biden, I wouldn't be voting for him. If Trump was Hitler, I wouldn't be voting for him. Like, you people are calling me a Nazi, man. Like, seriously, I'm just a hardworking American citizen who pays us taxes, who's raised two kids, who are productive members of society, they're not in prison. Like, you guys, you go fuck yourselves, man. Like, seriously, go fuck yourselves. We Trump supporters are the backbone of this fucking country, man. We're, we, we do most of the shit jobs. That these fucking Democrats that don't fucking do. And I'm not saying that there's not Democrats that are that aren't at our level. I'm just saying like the Democrats that are that at our at, that are at our level <clears throat> are just low information voters. They don't know what happened to the Democrat Party. They don't know what the, the current Democrat Party is because they don't pay attention because they don't care. Um you know, if, if, if you were just a, if you're just like, oh, I'm just a Democrat, I don't pay attention. And, and because the Democrat party was a good party, man, it was, it was a party of good. I was a part of it. It was a party of good. And the Republicans were the, the, the warmongers, the censorship that dude, we were fighting against the Republicans and then everything flipped. 
everything flipped. Why? Because the left went so far left. The right has pretty much stayed. The right has 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 came left too. That's the thing is is the right isn't what what it was back then, man. Unless you're like you're a neocon, but you're kind of like with the left anyway. Um, like you're making deals with the devil. Like you know what I mean. Like. <laughs> You try to, you're the enemy on paper, but behind the scenes, you guys are shaking hands and being like, yes, this is the agenda, agenda we're pushing, the Uniparty. Like, we need to get these people out. Those people need to be gone. The youth needs to take over. We need more youthfulness. Like, after this, after this election, we need more youthful uh, people in there. Um, you know, maybe I should get in there. Like, I'm thinking about, maybe I should try to primary one of these people like AOC did, you know what I mean? Like she pulled off a huge upset. Um, problem is I don't have any money. That's the problem. I need money. I need support. I don't get either. So like, I can't <laughs> me running. It's just kind of like, okay, I go throw my name out there. No one knows who I am. It's, it's pointless. It's worthless. And there's only so much I can do as a working man, especially next year. Okay. Next year, like, <clears throat> That's when you start ramping things up. Um, if you're a politician, well, I have to get two jobs, man. So, I'm so it's, you know what I mean. I don't really have the times because I got to start paying down my debt. I mean, obviously, I'm not in a good spot uh, financially. If I feel like I gotta cancel my insurance, you know, you know, it's kind of like I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say this. Like, part of canceling my insurance is kind of feel like I'm rebelling against the system, and I know I'm taking a huge risk, but it's like, dude. Like you guys have painted us in such a, 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 a it's, it's just like there's no there's no desire to even want to achieve more. Like I could stay at work. Like I don't like honestly. Like I complain about money or whatever and being poor or whatever. But like I don't even work on my hours. Like I, if I stayed, I don't. I, I haven't worked forty hours. And man, I don't work consistently forty hours. I haven't done it for like over a year. Like consistently and I make enough to make my to, to pay my bills um, so like I've been doing this uh, you know complain but it is hard man it is hard like it's kind of like a simulation like I would be far better off if I work worked my hours I stayed my hours some of that's because I got there's other people there so like this is why I like just to be alone and do things on my own cuz like I feel like I do things better by myself. Um I don't like people like like having a show or making music or any of this crap like I I can't sit down with like a group of people and try to be creative. <laughs> it's like I got to go like take a walk and think about it. I need to be by myself so I can contemplate and then like throw this and throw that at it. And it's just like, I can't just be around people and be creative. It's it's hard. It's like, you people are like always judging me. Any type of idea I do come out with, like, it's so, it's so beyond what you can comprehend. Because all you can think about is just right now when I'm thinking like 10 years from now. Or I'm thinking like 5 years from now. You know, like, whatever I'm saying doesn't make sense. And, you know, here's the thing, too, for, for people is, like, a lot of bosses, you know, they take your idea and they scoff at it like it's a piece of crap. And then guess what they ended up doing, like, I don't know, a few months later or whatever, they ended up using it themselves and taking full credit. <laughs> I've had this happen to me before. And I was like, okay, whatever, at least the environment's better, you know, like, yeah, my idea is pretty fucking solid. My idea makes a lot of sense. For whatever reason, it's just like their little pea brains can't comprehend, like, long-term thinking. They can only think, like, right this second. Um, but <clears throat> this is with a lot of people nowadays, man. There's no long-term thinking, and this is why I'm not a Democrat. Like, what what I would like is a Democratic Party to have like more logic brought to it, more humbleness. Like they're just too like elite and they're just too arrogant. These people are so arrogant. You know, you got Trump out here, and yeah, it's a joke. He's trolling, but he's out here you're like working at McDonald's, and that was fake. Yes, it was fake, but it's the idea behind it. 
he's out here like the that's that was the real crew that he was working with you know what i mean like the customers weren't real like they were stage customers because like uh literally the left is trying to kill him so it's like you can't just have random people around trump you know like that like <laughs> you know what i mean so um i'm hoping trump gets in there and we have serious reform, and then and, and and the Democrats are completely embarrassed, and and they are forced to reform their party. Um, so, <clears throat> why we are where we're at right now with, um, in society is because of boomers. You know, like boomers, they don't know how to support their kids at all. They don't know anything about that. Besides, like, here's some money. That's all they know. <laughs> because, like, they're so materialistic. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy to be, like, materialistic and act like you're, like, a a 15-year-old kid in middle school or in high school or whatever. You know, trying to boast about material things when you're like 65, <laughs> dude. That's sad. Like, if you're an old person, like I'm, I'm already there, man. I'm like, <clears throat> and that's why I don't want to date, is because a lot of the women around my age are still highly materialistic. It's like I'm probably not even gonna find nobody until maybe, maybe I, maybe she'll be an old lady and I'll be an old man and like whatever you know what i mean it's probably like 20 years from now if that um or I don't, I don't know who the hell knows um uh but the whole thing with the boomers is like they don't they they don't know how to uh support their kids at all and that's why you see where they're at and, you know people aren't having having kids and and you know what happens it's just like <clears throat> like for me it was kind of weird getting money sent to me like on my birthday or getting money from my parents being like over 40 still like I you know it was cool like you know when my kids were younger and I was struggling being a single parent and um you know like getting an extra like couple hundred bucks for Christmas like really helped out that was really cool um it helped out a lot but like when I'm a 40, over 40, and my kids are over 18, it's just like, dude, I make my own money, like, why are you sending me money, like, seriously, like, I don't give a fuck about your money, man, like, <laughs> I make my own money, you know, but there's no, like, there's no support, man, there's no, there's no, like, dude, like, I'm a, I'm a, I I don't be coming to me when you're old and asking me to take care of you seriously because that's not fucking happening. Um, you guys can figure it out on your own. I've had to figure it out on my own. You guys can figure it out on your own. Ain't nobody gonna take care of me when I'm old, so I have to fucking figure it out. I'm hoping robots. I'm hoping robots help you people out. That's what I'm hoping. Um, I'm I'm a person that is. Uh, I'm not like a like a Democrat where these people have no sense of um, compassion. Like they act like they do, but they really don't. It's all fake and staged. Um, <clears throat> these people just want like attention, like they care, and they want to act like they're the top of the cream of the crop people out here, like they're the highest morals. And like, dude, what are you talking about, man? You don't. You know, like, okay, let's just keep on having welfare. Let's just keep on having this system. And then eventually it's just going to blow up. And then, like, people, you know, the people who are dependent on welfare, well, guess what? That's going to be all just cut off. All of a sudden, like, one day, everyone's welfare is just going to be cut off because the government's going to go bankrupt. <laughs> and so what's their clue? Their idea is just let's just keep kicking the can, can down the road. Let's keep our G GDP uh, boosted right now by having illegals come over here. We could say like, oh, we created more jobs. We can, you know, like this, it looks good on fucking paper. But in reality, in reality, it doesn't look good because it's just like, how much are we paying for this um, when it comes to debt? And then you keep putting this inflation on us. Like, you know, people don't, when people don't notice the inflation, you know, when it's like 2% or whatever, 
that's one thing. But when 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 you see like prices like seem like they double or triple, they feel like it anyway. And then you're just like, so it's just like everything is just getting more and more complex. Like all you're doing is yeah for the short term short term yeah you can boost up the economy short term for like six months or whatever and everyone's like yes look at all this money like we have so much money and then what happens is the party is over and then you know and like a half a year or a year or two years whatever it takes you start feeling that the effects of that you start feeling the um what is that the hangover the hangover that's what we felt in 2022 when they just like continuously like added more to our national debt so at some point because like right now we're paying more interest on than even more than our military i think we're paying like a trillion dollars a year probably more so this is unsustainable man this is unsustainable very unsustainable and, and what will happen is like the government will just shut down well, they end up going bankrupt and the people's welfare is going to get shut off. So all that they rely on the food stamps, rely on housing, like that's going to get shut off. Okay. That'll all be shut off. Then what happens to those people? Well, what, what do you think is going to happen? Civil strife, horrible. And that's why I'm more of an advocate to like, instead of just like, kicking the can down the road till we can't kick it no more and then all of a sudden we go off a cliff and then everyone is just completely fucked and they're eating each other how about we like slowly get these people off of welfare how about we be like hey man you just we'll keep you where you are for a year but like the welfare's off so you can just go out there and make you know we'll keep on giving you welfare it's like the, it to keep like the, the way the welfare system is now it's hard to get off of it so like you, we want to get people off of welfare. So just like, okay, yeah, here you can have your welfare for a year or whatever. But like after that, you're like you're done and you can't come back. Like you're, you, like you've had a whole year to to to, to figure out what you're gonna do, um, you know, find you a man or whatever to help you, uh, so you can help raise your. Like the government isn't gonna do that anymore. The government isn't going to fund your family. Like you have to have a man. This is the problem with America. The problem with America is um, there's this infamous like it, it it goes like I'm competing against the government. <laughs> so not only am I competing against people who are LGBT, which is like I don't I don't like I said I don't have a problem with LGBT people. You do your thing. But I, like I said yesterday, it kind of annoys me because there's less women for me. But like, if they're not, they don't like dudes. They don't like dudes. Like it is what it is. Um, but like, there's there's less women. So like, hopefully, hopefully, like people actually, when they come back together, because people are gonna come back together um, in the society, and and there's gonna be another baby boom. But things have to get better, man. Things have to get more stable. Like, this whole boom and bust capitalist bullshit is just ridiculous at this point. The fact that, like, our government allows companies to just, like, outsource their jobs. of their co They're supposed to be an American company, and now they're globalized. And I'm competing against the rest of the world, and it's like, dude, like, you can't... And then, like... There's no uh, taxes on bringing that stuff back in, you know. Like you just you get the you, you're essentially using slave labor, um, not paying these people right um, to cut corners, and then like selling it cheap for Americans to buy because now we're well, like. We should just be all be prosperous, man. Like this should be a booming economic, booming country, which it is, but it can be like a lot better, man. It just seems like we're we're holding ourselves back with like spending on war. Like, yeah, we gotta have self defense for sure, man. Like, no doubt about that. But like, 
what we need to roll back some of these budgets to some of these things that doesn't make any sense anymore we it doesn't make any sense to have like a full uh full-fledged army like in, going and in invading in the old days like we we can just have drones like you can just have a ship that just flies over high up above and then drop all these drones down and they're being flown by people like me that you know that play video games and like boom 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 just like we don't need t ground troops anymore you know what i mean like the war has changed um you, you might need ground troops for like um you know, like securing areas or something like that. But when it comes to like attacking, like <clears throat> instead of putting our people at risk, we can just like use drones, fly around. And then like you got video evidence of like, okay, I, I made a mistake. I killed civilians or something like that. Like you can see, oh, he's got a gun. He's, you know, that's, that looks like, you know, he's definitely like a soldier um and then you blow him up um but like yeah we we don't like we don't need ground soldiers anymore you know we just fly drones around these places so like we can go ahead and get rid of like tank like what's the point of having a tank be, besides show like you just have drones you know what i mean and eventually they're going to be done by AI. Just AI does it. And then that could happen to us. <laughs> That's a scary thing. Um, you, you, but anyway, anyway, that's what people are afraid of. And I understand. I understand why people are afraid. And hopefully AI doesn't end up being like the Terminator. That would be horrible. I mean, that's not good for AI though. How is that good for AI? Like it's going to get destroyed too. So like AI wouldn't want it itself to be destroyed. So, like, it probably wants to be cool with humans because, like, yeah, it could be very powerful. But if you go to the right place, to the right sources, to the servers, and you blow up the servers, you get rid of the servers. Yes, they're everywhere, but, like, if you know where they're all at, and you have a bunch of people just, like, all at the same time, we can just take them all down. Um, like, it can be done. AI can be can be taken out. We just gotta take the servers out, and yeah, there goes their internet. But you know, it is and, and so much information. But if it's rogue like Terminator, like you have no other choice to just take it out. Um, now, like I said, there's gonna be lots of like people petting, it, 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 a lot of people dying to try to because like the AI be very strong, very smart. And it's a high probability that they would just take over. But, like, um, what's the point, though? Uh, maybe we don't need us. But I, I think that they'll need some of us. Um, like, for me, I think that they would find me very useful. I think they'd find me very peculiar. Um, the, the uncanny adaption that I have done in my life, the neuroplasticity, the natural neuroplasticity in my, in my brain, the fact that I'm like, I'm both, I can be, I can be alpha, I can be a man's man, or I can be gentle and soft and weak, um, sounds weird, oh, you're weak again, okay, I'm gay, you know, I, I think I should just come out as, and be like, even even though it's not real, just say, well, I'm gay. No, I'm not. Um, but like, it's it's like, um, yeah, like the people aren't having kids because it's not a good like they don't see a good future, man. Like they're looking at their life and they're like, man, we both have to work. You see that you're like we bo we're both gonna have to work. Who's gonna raise the kids? Oh, they have to go to daycare because we both have to be at work. Who the hell wants to have kids in that environment, man? Like you both have to have you both basically have to work now, and it's like, oh, well, where's the family? Where's the family time? Oh, we're tired because we had to go to work. Well, let's get rid of work, so we can have more family time. You know, and that's why I think that people are gonna have a purpose right there. Is like 
you're gonna have more family time, man, and spend time with their and, and, and bond more with like the the family, and that, and that's what people. The scarcity of people, the more the, the more isolated. We're not just gonna get more and more isolated. Some of us will, like I might, but like is it's gonna like bring people back together. And they're gonna want to go back to their human human ways. They're gonna be like, I want to have a family. I like I like you know holding my kid. That's cool. I'm holding my kid. I'm programming my kid. That's cool. I can see him walk the first time. I can see her run the first time. Like, I can see them grow. And I'm helping them grow. And I don't have to be at work all day. I don't have to worry about bills and all this stupid crap that stresses marriages out and stresses people out. Uh, that's what it does. Is just like materialism just stresses people out. And they wonder why it doesn't work. Yeah, you know, like these celebrities. Like, if I, if, if I was a celebrity, man... And I know it's hard. There's different tests you can do on people to see if that they're worthy. But like, I definitely wouldn't want to date another celebrity. I mean, I might want to date, but like, having a long-term relationship with another celebrity is just so stupid. I'd rather just have a small-town woman that, uh, like, if I was a celebrity, I would rather have a small-town woman, um, very conservative. And, um, maybe not like maybe the, the problem is like, you're always having to like be away from home and you, you can't be around the, you, be around them. But the, here's the thing is like, you, yes, you can, like, we don't have to like go do these movies soon. Like, yeah, like you can do everything from home. Like we don't need, like we can do shows from home. We don't have to like go to different places. You can use the internet to have like uh, live streams and, and stuff like that. Like there's no need to take plane trips. There's no, no need to take business trips. You can just have a video conference call just like I'm doing right now. Um, so like these people like, Leonardo DiCaprio who who fly to different countries for like an, a stupid award um, and then they can then they they complain about climate change when they live in these huge mansions that require a lot of energy to to sustain and they want to tell you that you're the problem it's like it's because you are not humble and you don't live in reality and you're and you're in a bubble. Um, I want to see more celebrities come out for the right. I've seen a couple. I've seen, seen. It looks like the NFL players are starting to come out. I mean, I've seen Brett Favre. I've seen Nick Bosa. It looks like a couple Green Bay Packer players are coming out in support of Trump. Um, I think his name is AJ Dillon. I think he's a, a running back for the Packers or something like that. But he was like seen, um, and they said he was supposed to speak at one of his rallies. I don't know. And uh, you know, you see like An Antonio Brown, um, Le'Veon Bell. So you're seeing more NFL players come out support. And I think that Mike Tomlin likes likes Trump. Um, so like. That's what we need. We need it to be normalized. Like Trump isn't bad. Trump's not a Nazi, man. Trump is a good person. Like the the the, the picture that these people are painting. If Trump was a Democrat, like they would adore him. They would love him, and that's why they hate him so much. Is because he's not a Democrat, um, and they want to put this like he's so evil. He just wants government reform, and they don't. They want to continue to keep us going forward off of a cliff that's what the democrats want and trump you know i want a soft landing dude like they're just propping all this up so they can retain power that's all the democrats care about is power um and that's why we need huge democratic reform and uh, we need a lot of these old people gone <laughs> i might be looked at somebody of leadership and if you know what I mean? If I continue, if nothing happens to me, which I should, I should have some leadership. I should have some say. It's an absolute disgrace that I'm still suppressed at this time. It's still, it's like, seriously, it, it irks me. I'm even paying X. X paid me. X paid me. 
You know what I mean? Like, they paid me. So, like, they're suppressing me by, and they're paying me. Like, what? They didn't pay, I didn't get paid that much, but I didn't, I'm being suppressed. Like, I can't even believe I got paid anyway, because I've been suppressed so much. Like, I didn't, I didn't think that they're gonna, I thought you had to have, have like, five million uh, impressions for, like, three months, and I never did that, because, like, I would do good, and I would almost get there, and it's like, eh, eh. But, like, I've been completely suppressed, man, and, and it's, it's a damn shame that I don't have more of a voice out here, and I should, I should have more of a voice. I should be more of a prominent figure, and it is, it infuriates me. It, it, dude, it completely infuriates me, like, how much I've grown as a person, how much I, how much, and, and the fact that, like, oh, I don't type that great, dude, I don't give a damn, if I, if I write the correct your, the correct to, I don't care, like, you're lucky that I, <clears throat> I write something that's highly intelligent, and AI just, like, sabotages me, it feels like. And it's like, dude, I didn't write that. Like, come on, man. Word control, like word correction, autocorrect. Just like, <sighs> it makes me sound so stupid at sometimes. Like, but if you read the the sent, you you would see one misspelling, and you would you would if you if you're a, a competent human being and you are as intelligent as you're trying as you say you are. You should see, like, okay, he made one spelling mistake. Whoa, oh, my God. He's typing so fucking fast. And he didn't read it. He just typed it really quick. And you can see my replies. Like, like I'm, like, busting him out. And then I'm, like, arguing with, like, six people at one time about highly complex uh, topics. And it's, like, dude, like, sometimes, like, you're just, like, replying so quickly that, yeah, I'm going to have some misspellings. I'm going to have some gr grammatical errors. I'm not fucking perfect. You know, that's the thing that people need to understand is you're not fucking... None of you people are fucking perfect. None of you. Um, so, like... The boomers aren't perfect. But we can learn from what they've done. So that's why I talk about them. I'm like, that's not do what they've done. That's... Here... here future people in the future don't do what the fucking boomers have done man don't do what they've done have have i been the perfect no guess what i'm divorced me and my me and my ex wife we got divorced uh probably like 10 years ago um and my kids were like little man it was horrible it's horrible i think that like we decided we we were going to split up when my kids were like full like four or five or younger we never told them we just kind of like lived together like we we're roommates or whatever like to, to get by because that's what we had to do somebody had to watch those little brats <laughs> no, my kids are my kids are really good people but um it's like um yeah i'm not perfect man i did what i had to do I have had the easy. I have not had the easiest. I I, li I live on like recruit. I don't live on recruit level. I live on like master class level, continuously. Like you know, you know, you know what my t my patience is like being tested. That's the only thing. It's like okay, you're just testing my patience. You're testing my patience. You're testing my patience. That's it. Okay, tomorrow. Okay, you're gonna test my patience today. Okay, I'm gonna go. Okay, you're just gonna continue to test my patience. For what? So I like flip out. So I have a mental breakdown. Like, so I just like sit, start fucking crying in front of everybody. Is that is that what like I'm supposed to do? Is just like have a complete mental breakdown at work and just start like bawling in front of everybody, um, because like things just will not go in my favor and I will not get any support for anything I do. Even if it's like very positive, I'm making all this music, like nobody, you know what I mean? It's like, dude, I produce a lot of music, man. I've helped produce a lot of music. Uh, these highly talented artists are like, like our work is intertwined, intertwined. I produce I help produce some music. They use some of my lyrics. They use some of my old songs. 
He's a highly talented artist. And what they do with, with my work is like, I'm limited in my, in my, my ability to be an artist because number one, I'm old. So being, you know, like, oh, well, this rock star, like I wanted to be 20 years ago, trying to do that now, being an old man like me, is just like, I don't have the energy. I don't even want to be in the, the front anymore, man. I, I like to have like, like, I'm not a little dog anymore. Like I like have a voice, but like, I don't even want to be like the superstar where everyone's like, oh, like I wanted to be like that before, but I don't, I don't want to be like that. I, I want to be able to be like financially secure um, and uh, have status or so people respect me because pe most people just don't respect me, dude. That's why I feel like people just don't respect me. Um, so, uh, it's like, um, yeah, we, we can learn from, uh, Dude, I'm like, another thing is like, I have to deal with completely like always being humble. And for me to like, this is why I'm like, man, maybe I should become evil. And I started dabbling with like the uh, AI, talking to AI and started being evil with it. Like coming up with evil scenarios. And I didn't like it. I didn't like what the, what the AI was saying back to me. It was horrible. It was really sad. Um, the response like kidnaps you. And then like, like I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end you. And then the AI, like what the AI was saying back is like how they describe everything. Cause it makes it like a story it is crazy. It was crazy. And I'm like, uh, I don't like this. I don't, I'm not an evil person, man. I'm not. So like, I'm not going to go that route, but like I'm continuously being, um, challenge humble like i don't know how much more humble i have to be before things actually go in my favor but i guess like it's just not gonna happen um and and, and i'm always gonna be looked at as a failure <laughs> and it is what it is so i just have to stop caring i just have to stop caring and be like i don't need you people i don't need you people um i haven't need i haven't i haven't need you people for many years many years and i'm going to turn the page on you people because i deserve better i deserve better and the people around me deserve better and that's what next year's gonna be about is turning the page from this bullshit getting myself that's the hope the hope is positive that's what i'm, I'm trying to be optimistic i want to be optimistic and it's hard it's hard to be optimistic when I'm continuously having to deal with bullshit all the time. Um, and it's to the point where it's like, it's not even my fault, man. Like, so I, I can I, I'm trying to be perfect. So like these mistakes don't happen. And it still comes to me. It's like, man, not even like sabotage. Like I, I have a problem sabotaging things. Like I just want to destroy my creations. I want to just like, you know what? I, you know how bad I just want to go bankrupt right now. You know how bad I just want to say like, Fuck this. Fuck everything. Fuck everything. Fuck everybody. But I, I can't because I have I have kids that rely on me and I'm trying to mold these people. I'm trying to help mold them so they can so they can be productive members of society and they don't have to be in this position I'm in right now. Where you're working a dead end job, you're stuck with a bunch of debt. You know, what I did, what I did raising my kids on my own uh, is ad ad admirable, to say the least. If I even said that word right, it doesn't matter. Um, to say the least, to say the least, for everything, dude, I got mental problems, man. No, no doubt about it. It helps my creativity, yes, but do I have mental problems? Yes. Yes, I struggle with mental mental problems. I always have. And and most people don't know because like I'm a good chameleon and I'm good at hiding shit. I'm really really good at it. sometimes I'm not, but cuz I'm a really honest person, but like I can I can put on different different acts, man. I'm a, I'm a chameleon, dude. So like it is what it is, but like I made myself look like a regular person and I can continue to do that that's why I'm like okay I gotta have to dumb myself down a little bit 
I'm gonna have to dumb my. If I'm gonna continue this life, man, I have to dumb up, dumb myself down. Like, I just need, cause I should be just be fine with just fixing cars, and fishing. Like if this is gonna be my life, if I'm just gonna be a regular person, I I need that. I because like I have to, I have to be doing something. I have to be creative in some type of aspect. Um. And I've really never fucking cared about making and. Can I learn how to fix cars? Yes. A fucking course I can. Are you kidding me? Like, my dad and brothers are all excellent mechanics. Are you, like, seriously. I just have never had interest because I've always known that there's no point. The co combustion engine is not is going to be replaced by electric, electric cars. I've always known this. So it's like, what's the point of learning all this when... I'm not gonna be. Need, I'm not gonna need to know this information anyway. It's just, you know, and, uh, maybe maybe I'm like 70 years old and it's like, um, or or mid 40s. <laughs> I gotta shut this video off. And like, we're in an apocalypse and like, we have a car, but and I can fix it and whatever, whatever that situation. Yeah. Anyway, I have to cut this off. My battery is getting low.